one of the questions here was, what are your plans now post-show or are there any other shows? Um, so Mary, thanks so much for asking that. And we seriously decided going into uh, – do USAs, which from Junior Nats was six weeks, and it's in Vegas. So six weeks gave us time to get a look together and get requalified because the other national show was Universe, and that's this weekend, actually, or was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's this weekend. weekend. So it was two weeks after Junior Nats. So that would have been, hey, you have to leave Junior Nats, start a peak week, and then qualify and then travel to New York and go to Universe. So that wasn't really in the cards to do something in two weeks. So the only option was to do something in six weeks. And we sat down and seriously talked through what was going to happen and what our options were. And we thought about USAs very strongly. And it was kind of like the look is there and I can still do this but should I still do this? Um, so we were kind of split back and forth. Um, and I don't know if you want to share kind of where your head was at with this, um, but I'll say like my head was mostly at everything that competing had kind of taken away from other aspects of my life um, and knowing what needed me to keep going forward. Um, and that's kind of how I came to my conclusion. And honestly, how we came to our conclusion together was like what we're wanting to accomplish the rest of this year doesn't completely um, revolve around if I get a pro card or not. Um, and like I had mentioned, like Alex needed his co-owner back. He needed his business partner back. And I was just at a lower capacity. And again, it wasn't as high of a priority. So I was running on empty. He was running on empty and like leaning on each other on empty, trying to get things figured out. And six weeks in prep, is short time, but it's also a long, a long time. time. Yeah. And we had told our staff, we had told a lot of people of like, give us grace as we get through Chattanooga. And then like, well, you, I'll be back and we'll be good to go. And I felt that it was very disrespectful to our staff as well as my clients and my husband, my coach and all of that to just choose the route that was going to serve um, a narrative that didn't need to be served. I don't know if disrespect, not very disrespectful. That's I don't know how I felt. Okay. <laughs> I don't think that that's the case. I don't think that anyone would have viewed it that way. Um, from a coaching standpoint, I'm always going to view it as, the, is, is the job complete? Did you complete what you were asked to do? And so in this context, I had not completed anything I was asked to do. <laughs> I, that is a joke. I was <laughs> I got a, a lot accomplished in different ways than I had anticipated. But in my mind, um, something that I my my dad is a, a big aspect of like my mentality as an adult now. Um, a lot of the things that he taught me as a child and, and still teaches me to this day have a lot to do with how I think about things and, and how I go about things. And so one of his big phrases as I was a kid, um, and and something that he helped me so much with learning delayed gratification is that he would always recite to me, your job's not done. Your job's not done when I was going through a different uh, task, mostly sports related. And a, a lot of the the job was to win you know, championships with my teams, to, um, to earn the accolades that I was, I was wanting to as an athlete. And so one of the big things that he always reiterated to me was your job's not done. We'd have, we'd have things to celebrate. We would review. And then it's like, the job's not done. You need to keep going. You need to keep progressing. This is just a step to the next step. And you're going to continue to go until you get to the top of this mountain. And we're going to go to the next one and we're going to keep going. And so I apply a lot of that to to my work now. And it is a large part of, of why physique development is successful now. I, I believe that to my core. And so with that being like one of my big whys, it was an immediate knee jerk reaction of let's go on to USA's. It's a, uh, it, it, it fulfills the finishing the job. It fulfills what I was setting out to do for Sue's prep. 
the health aspect to it in terms of the duration of the prep, how low food was going to need to continue to be. Could I give her a, a diet break to where we could have higher food for maybe two weeks of that time frame? If we did that, could we come back down without getting, because there's there's a look when the body is just tired. Mm -hmm. You look run down. It's, it's, the lines are a little blurred. It's not something that you can necessarily fix with, with fullness or, or getting more lean. It's just the body is beat. Mm -hmm. I knew we were close to that. Understanding that, can we work through it? Maybe, maybe not. And then the aspect of we've, we've, we've swung and foul tipped three times. We're taking a massive swing and, and potentially taking away a lot of things from other aspects of our life within the business, within so on and so forth. Um, we're taking a massive swing to go another six weeks and take away from the other aspects. Is it worth it? Like, is that pro card going to be worth those things being missed out on? And depends on what moment you ask me in, depends on what day you ask me in, I would say yes or I would say no. Greater majority of the time, I would say no in this instance. And the, and the pro card, the, the beautiful thing is, is that the pro card is always there. Mm -hmm. um, if, if Sue decides to compete in a year, five years, 10 years, that can, that pro card's still there. Um, and so that's something that I, I found peace in, uh, not a, not an easy pill to swallow, uh, as a, as a whole, but, um, that was, you know, what went into my mindset.